Can you think of the top five obstacles that are keeping you from achieving your goals? Would you be very mad at me if I told you that in fact that list is filled with excuses? That what's keeping you from your goals are your own limiting beliefs? Limiting beliefs are essentially the stories we tell ourselves about who we are that keep us from being who we were meant to be, that hold us back and keep us from reaching our full potential. And most of us don't even realize it, that's how clever they are. But limiting beliefs are self-sabotage, really. For whatever reason, laziness, fear, insecurity, self-preservation, we prefer to stay in our comfort zone, so we tell ourselves we won't be able to do something, so we may as well give up. There are a lot of limiting beliefs out there, one for anything anyone has ever wanted to do. But for me, there are four that are particularly damaging. The most important one being that I'm not good enough, that I'm not old enough or young enough, or thin enough, or pretty enough, or smart enough, you know, the list goes on and on. That I don't have what it takes to do something I really want to do, like start my own business, or become a successful YouTuber even. This limiting belief usually comes from fear of failure, or even fear of success. You know, over the years, I've been able to work on my fear of failure, because I have failed so often that I have learned it's not really as bad as my brain makes it out to be. But fear of success is much scarier. Because what if you get everything you've ever wanted and it makes you miserable? What if I can't handle all that success? Will people still like me for me? Then what? My second most limiting belief is I just don't have the time. And I'm guessing this one is one we've all used at one time or another, right? But here's the thing. If it's really important, we make the time by sleeping less, organizing better, or just cutting things from our schedule that aren't as important. Another big one for me is I'm not strong enough that I always need other people's help, their guidance, because on my own, I won't make it. That I'm not strong enough to deal with stress, pain, or discomfort. That is a limiting belief created to keep us in our comfort zone and stop us from risking it. Also, that I don't deserve love. And this is a tricky one, because I'm not saying I don't deserve a loving partner or a loving family or friends. Aside from a bit of people-pleasing, I'm good with that. <laughs> my issue is mostly with people I don't know. Like this nagging voice in my head that tells me that if I am myself around people who aren't part of my inner circle, that they won't like me. That if I'm myself in my videos, for example, something I've really made an effort to be in these last few months, you know, to show who I really am to you guys, that I won't be successful because people won't like me, you know, the real me. That if I meet someone on the street and talk to them, that they won't want to talk to me and reject me. <laughs> it's all kinds of messed up and I'm working on it, but it's definitely there and it's been there for my entire life. Okay, so what do I do to overcome my limiting beliefs? The first step is being able to identify them, really. Every time I feel afraid or I'm resisting doing something, I stop and question it. Is there an actual reason for me not wanting to do it or is it a limiting belief? I see it for what it is. I also write down all my thoughts, you know, I've put it all into paper to try and identify those stories I'm telling myself. And as it turns out, they're always the same ones. Another major one is taking back my power, you know, to stop blaming the world for what happens to me, to stop with the excuses. I accept control and responsibility for my own life and I just take the wheel. But ultimately, the best thing I do to overcome my limiting beliefs is to do it anyway, you know, even with the fear and the anxiety. And then two things can happen, I can fail or I can succeed. And if I fail, what I will learn is I didn't die, it wasn't that bad, you know, it never is. And as that happens, and I'm alright, I realize I can just keep trying and failing and there's no problem with that. Or I'll succeed. And as I do, I become more confident in myself and drown out those nasty voices. Either way, just don't stop, okay? Keep going, keep pushing until those limiting beliefs are nothing more than a whisper. We can do this, right?